Hi oh guys, uh, welcome again to another episode of Pinoy in Australia. Uh, today I have a special one for you guys. It's a Mercedes 1999 year model W202, uh, the model of the Mercedes Benz. Uh, that's, it has a C108 engine. So that is the code of the engine. Uh, the issue of this vehicle is it cranks but it won't start so right now I am I'm on the way I'm on the way to his place so let me tell you a story about this vehicle so one day the, be the uh, owner of the vehicle would like to use the vehicle then he was given advice by his son to put a new battery on it because the vehicle had been sitting there for six months so he put new battery he start the vehicle he start and he turned it up the next morning he tried to start to get start the vehicle again but after uh, starting the vehicle it won't start so it cranked but it won't start so we tried many times, times to try to start it. It only cranked, but it won't start. So what he did is he called the RACQ guys because the RACQ is the company where the vehicle is insured, and it comes along with road assistance. So he called the RACQ guys and he came to his place and diagnosed the vehicle. Alright guys, we are almost uh, there. Hey guys what we have today guys is Mercedes Benz uh, W uh, here's the model uh, Mercedes Benz W202 so this is 1999 year model C108 so let's have a look at the back C180 so the problem of the vehicle is it crank but it won't start so recently we just replaced the fuel pump and the fuel filter of, the, of this vehicle uh, it was diagnosed by the other mechanic but unfortunately after installing the new parts the vehicle won't start so I diagnosed this one yesterday. I put scan tools and let's wait for the result of the scanning of the vehicle. So our scan tool is scanning uh, the whole system. So, okay guys, uh, this scan tool had, had just finished scanning the whole system. This vehicle guys is really amazing. It got, it got 16 Sorry for the lyrics, guys. Uh, it got 16 uh, computer. See, that's 16. 16 modules, guys. So let's go to the uh, uh, ECM. So it got multiple uh, fault, but but right now what we're go what we're going to do is we just going to concentrate on engine ECM. So we got one fault on engine ECM. We, uh, what we're going to do is we go to report. So on the report, uh, here one port motor electronic two. So we're going to click this one. Ah. 
let's go to the report first uh, so there is a report guys uh, P0335 P0335 current L5 crankshaft position sensor so that is the fault on the uh, engine management uh, I'm going to save this one guys okay guys I'm in the process of erasing deleting all the faults guys then after that we are going to start the vehicle I just put a new brand new crankshaft position sensor so the location of the crankshaft position sensor is located at the back of the engine it's on the bell housing so somewhere there guys yeah. so you see that the uh, wire guys see yeah that wire yeah. so it's on the back on the top of the bell housing guys so if this is the motor go to the firewall and from there you can see the crankshaft position sensor so once the scan tools finish er erasing all the faults we are going to start the engine so right now guys everything is deleted so we are going to try to start the vehicle now Ah, bro, start bro. Sapa, bro. Neutral pa lang. On up mo, bro, para mag-pump yung ano. Mag-pump yung off, on, bilang ng... 10 seconds 10 seconds bro tapos up ulit, ulit, up ulit. tapos 10 seconds ulit on na tatlong beses para mag pump yung fuel Iyo on mo lang 10 seconds bro. Tapos iyon ka lang 10 seconds. Okay ba? Okay bro. Sa iyo ulit mo ulit bro. Okay, wag muna bro. Scan natin ulit. Tingnan natin kung ano problema. Dapat takan bro yan eh. Okay guys, uh, this is the uh, scan report of this vehicle guys. So, this is Mercedes Benz. Uh, the code is uh, C180 and it is W202 according to the plate on the engine bay so this is 1999 year model so uh, what we are going to do right now is we are going to concentrate on the ECM fault because uh, we are diagnosing the no start uh, fault of this vehicle so this vehicle has um, 16 modules guys 16 computer so for 1999 year model of vehicle during those times this vehicle is one of the best when it comes to uh, technology this is german technology guys mercedes-benz so on the top guys this is the engine control module module guys uh, so the me2 SFI motor electronic 2 that is the engine control module 
So we have one fold. So in the bed, in the bottom of uh, on the bottom of the uh, health report. So on engine control module, there is one fault, P0335, and that is L5 crankshaft position sensor current. So that is the reason why the vehicle is not running. So if you don't have crankshaft uh, signal, so there is two, two uh, things that might happen. Either the vehicle will not start or the vehicle uh, will have long cranking so it depends on the backup strategy strategy of the vehicle so in this particular model uh, if you have a failure in the crankshaft sensor vehicle will not start because you will not have spark and you will not have electricity supply to your fuel pump if you don't have crankshaft signal okay guys um uh as you can see on the video guys i start record stop recording on uh the troubleshooting uh when i try to start the vehicle and the vehicle won't start so what happened guys is i don't have to record i don't have time to record the 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 whole process of the troubleshooting guys because uh uh I don't have someone with me to take the video while troubleshooting the vehicle. So what happened guys is uh, the reason why the vehicle is not uh, starting during that time is the fuel tank is low on fuel. So before I find out that there is a low uh, level of fuel inside the fuel tank, uh, I checked the spark of the uh, spark plug. So I pulled up the high tension wire. I used a spark plug, uh, a spark tester of the uh, ignition system. There was a spark. Then I pulled out one of the spark plug and I connected it to the high tension wire. Then I grounded the spark plug. I uh, uh, ask the owner to crank the vehicle for me so I can see the uh, vehicle whether the spark plug is uh, firing. So during the process of testing the spark plug, uh, we had seen that the spark plug is producing um, uh, enough uh, spark. So how do we did it? Just simply put the end of the spark plug back to the high tension wire and put the uh, spark plug uh, body to the uh, ground so I try it and I also ask the customer to have a look with the uh, spark plug while I'm, I'm uh, starting the uh, turning the ignition on uh, of, of positioning the ignition to start a uh, position so I had seen that there is, there is a spark and a spark on the spark plug the customer also seen that there is enough spark on the spark plug. So I told him there is uh, around three to four scenario why the vehicle is still not working while the while we uh, while we are trying to troubleshoot this uh, um, uh, case guys. Because we already put new uh, spark uh, crankshaft position sensor and I had to scan the a vehicle the fault of uh, 03 P0335 had been fixed it doesn't come back so our issue on the spark plug is already fixed so I told the customer that there are around four or three uh, possible why the vehicle uh, is not uh, running either we are low on low on um, fuel possibly because um, the sending unit is not telling the truth, it's lying to us, or the sending unit inside the fuel tank is, uh, is faulty. And I asked him how long the vehicle was stuck on the parking area, he said around 4 to 6 months. So, uh, it's been a long time with, uh, since the vehicle was uh, stuck on the, on the yard. Then, I tried to get uh, the pressure of the fuel system but unfortunately 
I don't have the proper uh, adapter to adapt to put the pressure gauge on the fuel system. So the next thing that we are suspecting is whether the timing belt jump out of the uh, timing or it, or the timing belt uh, got snapped. Uh, to the customer, I'm not sure what type of engine is this, whether it used timing belt or timing chain. So those are the two scenarios that possibly the reason why uh, the vehicle is not running. So what happened guys is uh, already left home and I told him uh, the best thing to do is to look for a technician that have the proper tools for measuring the pressure inside the uh, fuel system. So what he did is he tried first to put fuel in the fuel tank. So he put around 3 liters and after putting the 3 liters uh, of uh, petrol uh, while I'm at home he gave me a call and he said bro the engine is running now so you are right uh, there is no enough fuel inside the system so I told him so if that is the case your sending unit must be faulty so I told him that uh, you need to uh, replace the sending unit of the fuel gauge uh, so I told him usually if the vehicle gets stuck on the uh, uh, parking area and you don't have enough fuel inside the fuel tank usually the uh, sending unit uh, fuel because if the sending uh, sending unit is not submerged in, uh, on the fuel what happens is the uh, sending unit uh, uh, become corroded uh, the resistor the variable resistor inside the fuel sending unit fuel so uh, he's happy and our next plan to do on that vehicle is to fix all the oil leak on the engine area because during the process of diagnosing when I remove the spark plug there are, there are uh, some oil uh, already leaking on the cylinder head and also in, in the spark plug, spark plug area so the uh, gasket of the bulb cover is already failed so we need to replace the uh, gasket of the rocker cover or bulb, time, uh, bulb, bulb cover so that's how uh, uh, the, the troubleshooting come out, come out, comes out guys so it fixed the p 335 by replacing the uh, crankshaft position sensor and the reason why it's not cranking the uh, why the vehicle is not starting is because it's low of fuel guys so i hope you will learn something on this uh, scenario guys so let me make an, uh, the story much shorter let's uh uh uh, start, uh what you call this um uh make uh, the story uh, short from the beginning vehicle won't start after replacing the battery customer called RECQ the mechanic of RECQ because the vehicle is uh, under the insurance of RECQ and this insurance uh, have this uh, what you call road assistance so if you have a road assistance if you have problem you can call the RECQ and RECQ will send mechanic to diagnose the vehicle. So during the diagnostic of the vehicle by the RECQ mechanic, he tap the fuel uh, pump. After tapping the fuel pump, the vehicle start for a few seconds. Then after that, the engine dies. So the technician of RECQ uh, recommended to replace the fuel pump, and the owner bought the fuel pump and he called me and said Eric can you please uh, replace the fuel pump I already have the fuel pump 
So I told him, if you are go going to ask me to put the fuel pump, I recommend uh, replacing the fuel filter too. Because most of the time, the fuel pump fails because of clogged fuel filter. So if the fuel filter is clogged, so the uh, fuel pump having hard time to push out the pump, uh, the pressure, the, the pressure, the, the fuel. So what happened is it uh, damaged the, the fuel pump. So he bought the fuel filter. So after he bought the fuel filter, filter he asked me to, call, to go to his place and install the parts. So I go to his parts, uh, to his place, I install the fuel filter, uh, the fuel uh, pump. I pulled, unfortunately, I cannot put the, install the fuel filter because it has wrong uh, fittings. So the original fuel filter has a tube on both ends. Then you insert the hose on both ends, then you put a uh, hose clamp. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the one that she, he bought is have a thread on the end and it's some kind of thread type but on the other side of the filter there is a tube where you can sew the, the hose so I told them there's two options that you can do either you replace the fuel filter with the right one or purchase um, fittings the right uh, adapter so you can you, you can use the uh, filter that you have bought so what he did is he go to the supplier the supp supplier replaced the fuel filter with the good with the right one then uh, yesterday he informed me uh, Eric I had put the fuel filter by myself but unfortunately the vehicle won't start still won't start then he called the RECQ mechanic again and the RACQ guys, the RACQ mechanic uh, troubleshooted. He used an external uh, fuel tank and external fuel pump, but still vehicle won't start. So the mechanic said, I, we need to scan the vehicle. Unfortunately, the, the mechanic of RACQ don't have the scan tools to diagnose the vehicle because this vehicle is 1997 uh, the diagnostic uh, plug of this uh, vehicle is a uh, Mercedes-Benz uh, plug it's, it is a 38 pin 38 pin uh, I think 38 38 or 36 I think 38 pin uh, diagnostic plug uh, round one and the, the, the mechanic of RCQ said I don't have the diagnostic plug for that vehicle. What I only have is a standard OBD2 diagnostic uh, tools. So what happened is the owner of the vehicle called me, Eric, this is what happened. This is uh, the technician of the RECQ said. Uh, it needs to be scanned, but unfortunately, he don't have uh, the scan tools to diagnose the vehicle. He said, do you have the scan tool to diagnose these things? I told him, yes. So what I did is, I brought my scan tool there, I plug it in, scan the vehicle, crankshaft position sensor. That's the fault, only fault on the ECM of the vehicle. So I told him, let's replace the crankshaft position sensor. Because uh, faulty crankshaft position sensor can cause a no start uh, symptoms. So he purchased the parts, it's aftermarket, not genuine one. I plug it in. Uh, as you can see in the earlier video, after, after putting in the parts, I erased the fault code. I started the vehicle, but the vehicle won't start. So I end up checking the spark. I got the spark, but I cannot uh, test the pressure of the fuel system. So what happened is, uh, I told him, I have suspect that either you have fuel delivery issue or you have uh, 
compression issue or timing. So uh, I told him uh, how long the vehicle had been stuck on the yard. Said six months. Are you sure you have enough fuel inside the fuel tank? Because I have encountered before that the vehicle is not starting because of, there is no fuel inside the fuel tank and the gauge is lying. It's saying around 3 fourth, but the vehicle won't start because um, uh, there's not enough fuel there. The sending unit is not telling the truth. So I think I told him that that might be our scenario right now. So what he did, he, what he did is he went to petrol station. I think uh, he told me that he put around three liters of petrol inside the vehicle on the fuel tank. So after putting three liters on the fuel tank, he start the vehicle. Then the vehicle starts. So that is the uh, conclusion of that. Uh, 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 fault finding of this Mercedes Benz 1999 year model W 202 with C 180 uh, uh, model at the back of the engine. So I had shown you in the early part of the video. Uh, there is C 180 at the back of the in, uh, of the in, of the vehicle. So that is the model and. W zero W two zero two is the one on the plate on the engine bay. So if you encounter this uh, kind of uh, scenario, guys, just replace the uh, crankshaft position sensor and make sure that there is enough fuel inside the fuel tank. So in this case, uh, it's a little bit. Uh, uh, struggling to diagnose this vehicle because the sending unit of the uh, fuel gauge is faulty. It's saying it's three port, but actually uh, the fuel inside the uh, tank is empty. Okay, guys, I hope this video is helpful. Uh, if you're not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. Press the su subscribe button. Please press the like button. Please press the notification bell so you will be notified every time I do a video. Okay guys, see you on the next video. Bye-bye.